We're here at the 91st International Pacific Halibut Commission annual meeting. They're about to release the 2015 total allowable catch. Let's go take a look. The overall 2015 total allowable catch has been set at 29.223 million pounds. This is a minimal increase over last year, about 6% above the 2014 TAC. As we heard from Ian Stewart this week, there have been some ups and downs across the regulatory areas, but overall we are seeing some stock stability. Although the TAC increased slightly, it is a far stretch from the 33 million pound TAC set in 2013. We spoke with local restaurant owner Keith from 1550s about halibut prices and if they have caused him to make changes to his menu in the past two to three years. It has, uh, in the last couple of years, it has gone up substantially. Uh, we took it off our menu about eight months ago uh, just because it became un unaffordable to serve to our customers. If the price of frozen product decreases after the fresh product has filtered through the market, we could see a drop in price. We asked Keith what it would take for him to include halibut back onto his menu. Oh, it'd have to take a lot. Uh, uh, it'd have to drop at least 30% before it actually would be viable to put back on our menu. Thanks for joining me today. Join us again on Monday when we will discuss in further detail how the results of this week's meeting will affect the market and for an interview with Bruce Lehman, the director of the International Pacific Halibut Commission. This is Kyle Ganton in Vancouver at the 2015 IPHC annual meeting.